Self-ionization water is a reaction in which a proton, that is a hydrogen ion, is transferred between two water molecules. The water molecule that gives away the proton now becomes a hydroxyl ion, while the water molecule that gains the proton now becomes a hydronium ion, H3O+. As two water molecules are transformed into ions, this reaction is therefore called the self-ionization of water. This reaction demonstrates the amphiprotic property of water. The word amphiprotic refers to the ability of a compound to act as a bronzolary acid, that is a proton donor, and a bronzolary base, that is a proton acceptor. We will revisit this concept of amphiprotic properties again in Module 6. The equilibrium constant of this reaction, Kw, is expressed by the product of concentrations of hydronium and hydroxyl ions. Kw equals to 10 to the power of minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius, or at room temperature. Self-ionization water is an endothermic reaction, so the forward reaction is favoured at a higher temperature. This results in an increase in concentrations of hydronium and hydroxyl ions, which in turn increases the value of the equilibrium constant Kw. So the value of Kw increases at a higher temperature and decreases at a lower temperature. At room temperature, the value of Kw is very small, 10 to the power of minus 14. This means the equilibrium position of this reaction lies well on the left-hand side. The implication of a small equilibrium constant is that although this reaction occurs in any body of water, only a small proportion of water molecules actually undergo the reaction. Since most acids and bases dissociate and ionize in water, the following equation is always true for acid and base solutions. The concentration of hydronium ions or the hydrogen ion when multiplied by the concentration of hydroxyl ions always equals 10 to the power of minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. This equation helps us calculate the concentration of one of these ions when the concentration of the other ion is known. For example, concentration of hydronium ion can be calculated if you know the concentration of hydroxyl ions. Vice versa, the concentration of hydroxyl ions can be calculated if you know the concentration of the hydronium ion. Let's take a look at how the self-ionization of water can be applied in calculation questions. The hydrogen ion concentration of a solution of hydrofluoric acid is 0.07 mol per litre, and this is at room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. What is the hydroxide concentration at this temperature? Now remember that for any solution using water as a solvent, when you multiply the concentration of the hydronium ion by the hydroxide concentration, you always get 10 to the power of minus 14 at room temperature. So if we are given the concentration of hydronium ions or hydrogen ions, we can divide 10 to the power of minus 14 by that concentration to give us the concentration of hydroxyl ions. Let's take a look at a more difficult question. Kb of a weak base, ethylamine, is 5.6 times 10 to minus 4. What is the concentration of hydrogen ion of a 0.05 mol per litre solution of ethylamine? So for questions like these, the first step is again to write an equation as well as an expression for the Kb or the base dissociation constant. In this case, ethylamine is an organic base you will learn about in module 7. But for now, we can simply use the letter B to represent the base. As we know, weak bases are bronzolary bases, which are proton acceptors. So in the equation, the water molecule will donate a proton to the base to produce BH+. And in the process, as the water gives away the proton, it itself produces the hydroxyl ion. In the expression, Remember that it is simply the concentration of the ions divided by the ion ionized base. Water is not included in this expression. The next step is to set up an ice table to calculate the concentrations at equilibrium. We started with 0.05 mol per litre of the base, and both ions were not present initially. As the base ionizes, it will decrease in concentration, while the two ions will increase in concentration by the same amount. By adding the initial and the change in concentration, we can therefore derive expressions for our equilibrium concentrations. The next step is to substitute the expressions into the Kb expression and using 
5.6 times 10 to minus 4 as our KB value. Before continuing, let's make a simple assumption so we can simplify our equation. Since KB is a small number, the value of x, that is the change in concentration of the base, is small. So we can make the following approximation by removing minus x in the denominator. This allows us to multiply 0 0.05 on both sides and subsequently square root both sides. This allows us to calculate the value of x, which is the hydroxide ion concentration. This turns out to be 5.3 times 10 to minus 3 mole per liter. Now, the question here is asking for hydrogen ion concentration, not the hydroxide. So there's one more step. Using what we know about the self-ionization water, at 25 degrees, the concentrations of hydrogen ions when multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide ions will give us 10 to minus 14. Which means the concentration of hydrogen ions can be calculated by dividing the number by the concentration of hydroxide ions that we previously calculated. And this gives us the final answer of 1.9 times 10 to minus 12 mole per liter.